Hey guys, Kevin here from awareness.website with Awareness Tai Chi in this week's video for Continued Classroom Classics. Um, you know, I had left you with some homework hoping that you would catch it. There's a little bit of uh, variance in the move that we did last week and I was kind of hoping somebody would maybe comment on it or catch it, but nobody did. So I guess hang in there, we'll come back and I'll explain to you what the homework was. Okay, so I've always done needle at sea bottom a particular way and last week's video I did a little bit differently just wondering to see if any of you would catch it. So I'm gonna do the move a couple of times and we'll see if you guys can pick it up and then you can send us some comments and see if you can see what the difference is. Uh, okay, going into the needle at sea bottom. Okay, that's one way. There's the other way. Okay, so you guys can go back into the Classroom Classics, check out that move, and check out last week's video, and, and check out this video, and you'll see, see if you can see the difference on those needle at sea bottom moves. All right, so let's carry on with this week's move. So we're gonna do the move that we seem to always forget, <laughs> or we did anyway before, Fan penetrate, penetrates through the back. Um, so this one is it's kind of easier to just flow into it. So we'll just go into it um, as if we're doing the set. Now, the thing with this move, and I'm getting Shelly's reminders there <laughs> in the background. The thing that we're going to do with this move um, or th that you want to have happening in here is it's helping to open up because the arms are expressing out in two different directions and in line with the spine going upwards it's helping to open up that upper spine area so in the shoulder blade area um, getting the, the arm movement into this part of the spine the upper part of the spine and helping to stretch that part of the spine out um, and lots of other moves that do that as well, but this one's just a good one to make a point on as to the direction of that upward moving arm. Okay, from the needle at sea bottom, so you're in that uh, whip to one side, half step kind of position, you got the toe just touching, you needle down, you needle up, relax down, and the elbows drop. Step out and then turn both palms out. Left arm going straight out as in a toyu and the right arm is going upwards in line with the, the leg and the spine. So you don't want to be leaning into it and you don't want to be pulling back you just simply want the arms to express one going in a line upwards like that with the line of the spine and the other one going straight out. And other than that, it's just a toyu. Needle down. Now when you come up here, the arms come up and you start to relax into the leg and the elbows drop. Step and the wrists turn to push. So letting this arm push upwards, letting this arm push out. And again, squaring to the front as you do that. So just like in a brush knee and stuff, as you line up the arms in front, you want to connect the arms in front and then let them express from that leg push. So you don't want to be getting going forward and then just sort of throw the arms up into position. You want the wrist to turn, the arms will connect into the push, 
elbows are down, and then the arms express. So, watching from straight on, you needle down, come up and relax, step, and notice both hands, this hand is turned over, centered, over top of your head, or in front of your head, and this one is centered like a brush knee, so heart thumb line. Okay, kind of movie projector, movie director thing. <laughs> okay, heart thumb line. Now some people, you know, this, this arm expression is kind of a little bit in close. Um, so for the purposes of being able to stretch out, you want to be able to get the arm to express. Um, there was one comment, somebody's asking, what do I mean by expressing? Um, I like to use the term express as opposed to push because you're not, you, you don't want to put effort into it and it's more sort of with the idea of feeling the pressure from the leg and letting the arm express. So it's more in line with the idea of just letting it go. Let the arm express as opposed to trying to push the arm. It, even though the arms are doing something, the arms aren't doing anything. You, you want them to follow that expression from the leg, that push from the leg, and the arm just expresses with that. And same with this arm. As it goes out, same with the toyu, is as you express, the arm just sort of goes out. You're not pushing the arm, it's the leg that's pushing and that force is just being allowed to let go, express out through the hands, through the fingertips, out through the palms. So that's how you can get the body to connect. As soon as the arms are tight and you're pushing with them, you don't have that connection anymore. You don't have that relaxed expression. Uh, so uh, hopefully that explains that. <laughs> um, and that's the way all the moves in the set are. Everything is quite light, quite soft, but there's an intention to it, but no tension. Okay, hopefully you get that. <laughs> okay, so one more time. From the needle at sea bottom, you express up, express down, push from the feet, the arms come up, relax and turn, turn forward, connect the arms and express. I'll do it from this side just so you can see the, the other angle. Half step, push up and express. You turn to the right, drop the hands, express down, squaring to the front, push up, relax and turn to the right as you sit, square to the front and express. So the body is doing those turns, just like in Toyo. Turn forward, turn back, and don use, expressing as you come up, expressing as you come up, expressing as you come up, <laughs> sitting. So all the principles are in it. Okay, so let's uh, do some follow along here, as though you were behind me doing this, and uh, get ready. <laughs> so we'll take it from the needle at sea bottom. So we'll needle down come up and then go into fan penetrates through the back. So from this warding off, hands in front, needle down, square to the front, push from the toe, push from the foot, arms come up, relax down, turn to the right, step, turn forward, palms turn out and push. Or express. <laughs> Okay, so whip to one side, half step, toe touching, relax, needle down, push with the legs, 
come up, express as you sit, turn, and express as you go forward. One more time. Up, kneel down, push up, arms express up, turn, step, and push out. And the push comes from the lake. Okay, so looking forward to your comments as to the difference. I'll show you one more time, just to make sure you get a good idea. Method one. Method two. All right, take care. Do your homework. Practice lots. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Check out the website. Lots of stuff going on. Um, I'm going to be uh, working hard. <laughs> I was about to say something, but Shelly's, no, no, no. So you'll just have to wait till next week for that. All right? Take care. We'll see you again.